hi everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is alexa taro and i am a certified reiki practitioner which means i'm an energy healer a light worker as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader i want to start off by saying thank you to each and every one of my subscribers thank you so much for your support thank you for always tuning in and for sharing my channel with others for those of you that are visiting for the first time welcome i hope that you find this tarot of oh, this tarot this taurus connection in separation reading insightful no guys i don't edit my um <laughs> i don't edit my videos so it, you guys are gonna actually hear that you know mistake there but anyway um so uh, for those of you that are visiting for the first time if you want to be part of our family this is easy just um click on the subscriber button and then click on the notification bell and then you'll be notified whenever i post new content which i do several times a week okay guys and for those of you that that were uh, reaching out to me way before and i was like no i can't do private readings my schedule is crazy just letting you know now that i am available so i know some of you are like yay <laughs> if you are interested in a private reading just check down below in the description box and you will see my information please know that i do not solicit customers or clients so if anyone is reaching out to you saying that they are me chances are it's 100 not me all right so without further ado let's take a look here at the mutual energy between you virgo and your connection and separation and if i said taurus before my apologies i meant virgo um sorry virgo <laughs> all right so let's take a look here what's the mutual energy between you and your significant other in this long distance uh connection or connection and separation okay you have the winged ones oh interesting i believe taurus got that i want to say and the diamond dreamer okay so you guys have here the winged ones all right so i'm feeling here with this um with these two cards i feel the energy of um like destiny angelic uh, realm uh divine intervention being helped like both of you are having this energy from above or from the spiritual realm that's helping you manifest okay here with the uh, diamond dreamer that's helping you manifest um that which is of value okay so again i feel that in this mutual energy is you and your significant other virgo are manifesting together now whether that uh manifestation is manifestation of just uh, of course a deeper love a deeper commitment or it's also including perhaps abundance and prosperity whether that is emotional prosperity or whether it's financial or material prosperity but i definitely feel here the sense of um abundance the sense of prosperity i feel here um pentacles energy okay of course you guys are um an earth sign right but there is this feeling of pentacles energy so i feel that whatever is being manifested or whatever is coming to fruition in regards to your connection a mutual energy between you and your significant other from a distance it's something that's taking its time okay it's not coming very quickly but it definitely is coming because you guys are having this additional help from above okay chop wood okay so you guys are working very hard again now whether that is working very hard uh, uh mutually in your connection or whether that is you virgo you're working hard in you know in your career and your significant other is working hard in their career in order to make um your dreams in the future come to fruition okay uh remember i was telling you that i was getting this pentacles vibration here and um pentacles is about patience and determination it's about stability it's about um you know putting in the hard work in order to see the fruition of it with time let's see what other energy mutual energy here between virgo and your significant other wow you guys have passion so there is a lot of passion between you and your significant other and 
and you guys are opening up now whether that is you're opening up emotionally okay with it uh, with the card it is safe to love or whether you guys are feeling that finally things are moving along so that you guys can physically share moments together but there is this sense of passion okay and working to it so maybe there is because of this chop wood card that i'm feeling that there is this work on how or i'm sorry work on um making sure that the passion isn't lost in this connection and separation all right let's take a look at what your significant other is feeling virgo what is your significant other feeling in this connection and separation for you or your uh, connection okay so your significant other is thinking about their emotions okay and they are a little bit feeling kind of, uh, how can I say this? I feel here with this, um, it says envy card, but I feel here that it's just this feeling of um, not having enough. So whether they're thinking about not speaking to you enough or not having you in front of them enough or not spending enough time together um, because you guys are in physical distance, they are in a way I feel here thinking about what they're lacking or what they're needing or what they're missing from you in this connection and that may mean just physical touch that may mean um they miss holding you they miss touching you they miss being with you they miss having you in person okay all right interesting the two of wands came out so they are um they do have a lot of sense of passion here which is funny because Taurus just got a very similar reading. Um, so I don't know if your significant other is a Taurus, but um, but anyway, you do your significant other here has the two of wands. So the two of wands here is saying that they are passionate, they are um waiting, you know, passionately to move over, uh, to move forward with you. Okay, they have the passion, the creativity, the wanting, the desire. But they also understand that they have to wait in order to get to you or to wait in order for things to come into fruition. Okay, and they are deep in their thoughts. So their emotions are very linked or linked a lot. And it's interesting because it's right under this envy card. Um, I feel that their emotions are very connected to missing you. And because they miss you or because they want you physically or they want you in their presence, okay, that it does interfere with their sleeping pattern, okay? So the nine of swords is they get wrapped up into their own uh, storyline in their head, okay, about either missing you or feeling sad or depressed because you guys aren't uh, together physically, okay? Um, but here is the world card. So they are thinking about wanting that uh, cycle to end, wanting that um lower vibration cycle they want this cycle of having to wait to end they want this cycle of uh feeling mentally or emotionally uh tormented by the thoughts of not being together by the distance they want that to end because they are um looking forward or they feel that this is a connection that is successful is one that could be successful it's one that can um uh you know just bridge the gap between where they are and where you are i feel here when i'm saying bridging the gap i literally just saw a plane in my mind's eye so i feel here that they are definitely 100 percent thinking about traveling okay either you traveling to them or them traveling to you okay because their emotions are uh at a point where they're just really thinking about you and they really miss you and they have a lot of passion for you so let's take a look here at what they're thoughts are in this connection and separation with you virgo okay so they are 100 percent fully invested in wanting to take a leap forward with you and but at times they are thinking about the blocks okay because you guys have ridge okay here so i feel here that they want to open up okay or they want to open up this blockage or blockade or delays or things that are externally 
creating obstacles or challenges in this relationship and they think about that okay um again it, it it makes sense because i do feel that energy here with the knight of swords okay so they're very much in their thought in regards to this connection all right let's take a look what else are uh they thinking what is your significant other thinking virgo in regards to this connection and separation Okay, they're definitely thinking about a brand new start so that you have the full card here they're thinking about taking a risk very interesting two cards having the same exact uh position here or the same posture so your significant other is thinking about how to take a leap forward how to take a risk regardless of whatever obstacles or challenges may they may be facing or this connection may be facing let's take a look at the back of the card you have or i should say they have the two of pentacles which means they are very busy they're very busy thinking about how you guys three of pentacles how you guys can work together oh my gosh look at this uh two of wands again but a different deck how they can work together with you while they are waiting okay while things are um, in this waiting more or in this holding pattern okay um, I feel here that travel is very much in their heart and travel is very much on their mind so they may be feeling or thinking about traveling to see you or you traveling to see them why am I saying that because the two of wands is in their emotion and so is the world card so it's definitely a sign of a long distance and separation okay so they have the passion and they are thinking about traveling as well also here with the two of wands in their thoughts they're also um again thinking about the waiting but again the two of wands is also talking about long distance love right having to travel to see your significant other so i feel here that your significant other is uh, really thinking about ways okay ways that they can work very hard on how to work together as a team so while while they are in separation with you okay so they may also be thinking about traveling all right so virgo let's take Take a look here at what your significant oh i'm sorry not significant no, no, this is for you okay so what is the um advice for you here in your connection and separation what advice is there for virgo in this connection all right so you have authority trying to take charge or trying to uh, remain uh, in a leadership role or trying to think clearly okay and you have the disruption card and a firm foundation here interesting okay and uh triumph so moving things forward so i feel the advice here is very clear i feel here that they're saying here that your focus needs to be on how to secure and how to uh balance not only um balance but not only secure but secure maybe in the financial sense maybe um uh, making sure that you um, maybe save up you know more in order so you can travel to see your significant other uh, creating the firm foundation that you may need in order to move this connection um, along into maybe something more stable more um, you know more of a longevity type of thing okay they're saying here to move out of this uh, connection of oh I'm sorry not the connection to move out of this um, energy of disruption or having to think of things as in a disruptive way okay or that things are not going the way that you plan they want you to take control of this feeling that you might have inside where you may say to yourself well how am I going to make things happen in this connection because therefore there are external factors that I can't you know change and you know how am I going to be able to overcome that how are we going to be able to overcome that and this is what this is saying is you're going to be able to overcome it by thinking clearly okay by being in this emperor energy by um uh, understanding that mind is going to take over your emotion okay and why i say that is because when your mind is clear then you can think about how you're going to do what you need to do in order to create the solid foundation that you need to move things forward along in your connection okay all right so let me give you one more card here what's another advice for virgo in their long distance connection
okay you have the snake all right so the snake is talking about untapped potential so they feel here that you have the untapped potential the energy to make anything possible but the only way that you can make it possible is by having a clear head by being able to move things along in um you know in 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 a pattern of being a leader okay being able to put down the proper foundation for what you are building with your significant other in this long distance connection okay it's talking about you have the untapped potential you have the potential to make things happen but it will take work but again it will be worth it in the long run okay virgo thank you so much for stopping by and i'll see you again next time Bye bye